Matt, Corey. Matt. Hi, I don't mean to intrude. I was just concerned. Lila. How are you and your family holding up through all this? It's great to hear your voice. It said here that the police, uh, questioned Carl. You should be in jail. If there's something I could do. Could you deal with the Harbor Club again? Well, I think I could deal with the Harbor Club just fine. How's a half hour sound? I'll pick you up. That'll be fine. I'll be ready. Going back to the hospital, are you? Yes. Rachel, you've been there all day. Felicia's been asleep the whole time. I want to be there if she needs to talk about what happened. That's uh, her number at the hospital. I wish Carl were here when I need him. Well, I know what you mean, believe me. He's taken off again, and this is all I left. Not to worry, I'm getting to the bottom of the Hadley mystery. Back soon, old my little Carl. Um. I need to talk to you about Hadley. Shane was out with her last night. Here? In Bay City? At Pandora's. Are they together? I, I didn't ask him that. A woman calling herself Hadley Prescott called here last night. You talked to her? Of course I talked to her. She said she was leaving town. She said she was out of Carl's life forever. She apologized for what she'd done what she said. Try and get some sleep, darling. I'm stronger now. I want you to tell me the truth. The truth is, I love you more than life. And I thank God you're still beside me. You don't have to protect me anymore. My face. How bad is it? I... I... I need to know, please. You know soon, darling. Now, please. I brought Maxwell Brogan in from Houston. He's one of the best reconstructive surgeons in the world. Oh, I, I know that name. He works on war victims. Is that the doctor? Yes. Oh, my God. He's the best. We want the best, don't we? Oh, my face is destroyed. Is that it? Is that why you brought him? Is it? No, no, no. No, we'll be... I'll go get him. Please. Now. Felicia goes inside. No, no, I gotta go. Miss Felicia stays on page one. She has major news. Are you kidding me? The wire services are running this. The, the TV's picked it Give up. Give her some privacy, Jake, but push Carl Hutchins. He obviously pushed her. He'll be arrested. I get it. Alexander Nikos. I don't even want to know your life. She fell at his place. It, it, it makes him look bad. You're protecting him. Why? I'm why? I've I never have absolutely known the guy. You're the one who wrote all those fluff pieces in the newspaper those about him. Those stories were solid. You know, I'm sorry, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is the same man that bankrolled Grant for Mary. He, he's, the, he's the man that, that, that hates your mother's husband. Which one is that? Go away. Why don't you get that wherever it is? Uh, it's a source. Oh, so now you're holding back stories on me, huh? Goodbye, Jake. It's my private line. Now, why would you need a private line? Could it be for all those boyfriends? <coughs> yes. Hadley? Yes? Hadley Prescott? You don't sound like yourself. Got him, Ms. Glow. 
That seems to be the question of the hour. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Does that hurt? Uh, it's fine. Uh, doctor, please, if it hurts, uh, that, that... No, it's all right, Alexander. Please, go on. I'll make this as painless as possible. Okay. I like your spirit. It'll help us both. Alexander, maybe you should go. I, I don't know that he should be here for this. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Oh. Oh. The light. So you can see light? Yes. Yes, yes, I can. Take it slow. Give your eyes a chance to adjust. You look wonderful. Please, Doctor. Take the bandages off my face. Please. Nothing I haven't handled before. You'll be a good candidate. Well, then, I think we should get started, Doctor. Well, we'll have to wait till you get your strength back. But then I can start as soon as you're ready. Well, that's good news, isn't it, Alexander? Yes, I mean, that's yes, what we were waiting definitely, for, yes. Oh, that, look, let me have a mirror. I want to see how I look. Uh, no, not under these fluorescent lights. Your eyes need time to rest. Why? But, uh, uh, why can't I see myself? Is look, it bad? No, Is that why? This, no, no. We have to take this one step at a time. We can't risk any infection. It, it is not terrible, then. No, no, darling. The doctor will fix it. Don't worry. Oh, I've been so worried. Please, don't. Don't. I can't go out on a book tour looking like a freak. Can I? I, I know I shouldn't be so vain. I, I guess I do care about how I look. I'm sorry, Miss Galampa, but I'm going to have to cover your eyes as well. I, I know it, as long as it's only temporary. Alexander? Right here, darling. Go away. Why is that? Do you have a hot date? If I lose this source because of you, I swear to God. Hadley? Hello? Hadley? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Like I care who you're talking to. Hello, Hadley? Hello? Hadley? Shane, there you are. What's the deal? Are you all right? Oh, uh, well, I've been screaming into the phone. Did you not hear me? No, and you didn't sound like yourself before. Don't you just hate these cell phones? Look, you want to meet me at um, Pandora's? Only if we dance like there's no tomorrow. Sure, sounds good. There is no tomorrow, Shane. What does that mean? I'm leaving Bay City tomorrow. Tonight is our last hurrah. Carl's gone after Hadley. Where would he go? Uh, maybe Shane said something to her. Do you think so? I'll call him right now. No. No. He's gone out of town. The police aren't going to like that. Rachel, the police don't think that Carl pushed Felicia through that skylight, do they? They would have arrested him if they did. No, if he's gone after Hadley, he certainly has good reason. Mm. Carl always does. Don't start with me, Matthew. Sorry, Mom. I just can't stand by and watch him tear you apart like this. Do you know that Hadley Prescott called here to talk to Rachel? Again today? No, last night. She said she was leaving, so we might not ever know who put her up to this, but maybe the charade is over. If it is a charade. Where's Carl, anyway? I don't know, Matthew. He's taken off again, and I don't like that. But that doesn't mean I think he's with another woman. I'll be at the hospital if anyone needs me. Give Felicia my love. I will. You could be a little nicer to your mother. She needs to learn to accept the truth. And you know what that is, right? The facts aren't in, Matt. They are to me. I've seen enough. Ever think that Rachel knows more about this whole situation than we do? She loves him. That's all she can see. Look, if Amanda calls, 
Tell her I'm at the Harbor Front. Maybe you and Amanda don't know what it's like to love somebody. You know, Carl Hutchins has taken over my mom's life and my father's company. Maybe you forgot Carl tried to kill them both, but I haven't. Neither is Amanda. Guess you don't need a third for dinner, huh? Don't wait up for me. Okay. I'm not alone, won't kill you. Get through this night without Joe. And Matt, you want to plan against Carl? Well, you can do that on your own. Jake McKinnon. Jake, hi. Is Amanda there? Ah, oh, you just missed her. It's a good thing, too. I almost uh, stuck a pencil in her eyeball. Oh, too bad. Should I leave a message? Well, I, I was trying to make plans for dinner. Are you free? I wish. I'm doing a, a cover story on Felicia. You okay? Sure, sure. I'll go back to work. Hello? Hi, Shane. Yeah, Paulina? I'm glad I caught you. Um, how about dinner at Carlino's? It's on the house. I would love to. Unfortunately, I just made a date with Hadley. You know, I, I told you about her? Uh, yeah, you did. Um, I have an idea. Why don't you two swing by here, pick me up. I'll make you a dinner curling as that she'll never forget. That would be great, Paulina, but I'm going to have to pass. We made plans to meet at Pandora's. Okay, uh, another time maybe then, huh? Definitely. Okay, bye. City Cab Company? I'd like a taxi sent to Underhill Terrace. Have I told you how fantastic you like this evening? Uh, several times. But you're welcome to tell me again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Looks like you two are becoming regulars these days. Well, this is the place in town, Donna, haven't you heard? Thank you, Matt. If you don't mind, excuse me for a moment. I'm going to try and get a hold of the man down. That's all right. Donna, if you're not comfortable with Matt and me being here, we can always leave. Oh, no. No, no. Don't be silly. So, looks like Matthew's doing the whole Corey routine with you. The dinner's on the terrace and the moonlight horseback riding, the limo. What's wrong, Donna? You think that's too much for the light? of the low me? Yes, I do. And if you want Matthew, you're going to have to lose your fragile to the core Southern Belle routine. <laughs> well, apparently you haven't known many Southern women. If that's what you think we are to the core. Then you better be real smart, Miss Lila. Because that pretty little face is not going to take you so far. Than you think. Try not to touch the bandages. I'll do my best. You'll be fine, darling. Miss Galant, you'll excuse us for a moment. Why? You can talk in front of me. You need to get some rest. That's right. I'll be right here. What can you do for her? Well, the uh, scars are more extensive than I expected. Bones are shattered. I can rebuild it somewhat, but I... Uh, you built your reputation on some what? I'm being realistic. The soft tissue damage is also extreme. Well, you've got to do something. What you're asking for can't be done. Maybe not by you. Not but... by anyone. And the sooner Miss Gallant realizes that, the better. You're trying to tell me that she's going to be this way. No, but she has a right to know what confronts us. 
I want her exactly as she was. I'm a doctor. I'm not God. You it can't be done. Oh, I don't recall him please, saying it. Did he say please. that? I have, to, I have to know. Please, Alicia. Sweetie. Rachel. Oh, darling. How are you feeling? Rachel. They told me you were here all day. Yeah. Where's Carl? No. Please, not now. I'm sorry, I'll leave you. I brought you some things. It's all right. You'll be back, okay? You're all right. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. I brought you some stuff. I brought you some talking books and some music. Bach and Mozart. Sometimes the sounds in a place like this are the worst part. Yes. Yes, sometimes. Don't take Alexander personally. <laughs> He's so upset right now. <gasps> Don't apologize for him. He just thinks that Carl did this to me. Felicia. Do you think Carl did this? No. No, no, I don't. Doctor, and Alexander won't let me see myself. I'm sure they will. When the time is right. But look at these bandages. Look at me. Look at me. What could be under here? What if I'm like a monster? Are you, Amanda? Well, you were on the phone forever. I was trying to get a hold of Amanda. Of course, Jake McKinnon's no help. Mm. Well, I'm sure it'd be easier for Amanda if she ran that paper without Jake McKinnon. No, nah, there's no way Jake's going to give up his half. And what about you? First, you give up your half of the paper, and then Carl pulls you out of your spot at Corey Publishing. Not really fair, is it? Everything my father built is slipping away. I can't fight back. Why not? Tell me now. Who has more friends on the Corey Board of Directors? You or Carl Hutchins? I like the way you think, Lila. Shane Roberts was a damn fool to let you go. I think so. Well, maybe you're both moving on in your lives. I'm all for it. Yes. Seems like he's getting over Victoria Hudson. I guess that's something. Really? Yes, he's seen that uh, woman that we met. What's her name? Hadley Prescott. To our last night in Bay City. Wish I'd met you sooner. Yeah, me too. Isn't this kind of sudden? It's the fashion world, darling. I've been made an offer I can't refuse. I'd be dumb to say no, and besides, somebody has to live in San Francisco, uh, right? What about this, um, older man you were seeing? 
Who knows? Maybe he'll leave his wife and follow. Do you believe that? I don't know. Right now, what I wish is that I could stay here forever. Just like this. With you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bay City kind of grows on you, doesn't it? Yeah, some people in it do. <laughs> like you. People who see me for exactly what I am. Floor, please. Rachel Hutchins. No, she's not a patient there. She's visiting Felicia Gallant. It's very important. Hadley, turn around. Oh. Rachel, hi. Listen, you want to meet Hadley Prescott face to face? Come to Pandora's right now. A nice dinner always make you feel better? The company does. <laughs> you know, I think you should give a dinner for the Corey Board of Directors and give them a chance to know what's really going on. That's a good idea, but... What? I could help you with anything you need. Believe me, they'd love a chance to get some things off their chest. Carl's managed to run off some of our better riders, including Felicia. Who now, thanks to him, is an ICU with some terrible injuries. I don't know why they just can't fire him. Well, they can, as long as my mother supports him. She's the major shareholder. Hmm. Here I am talking about business, and I promised I wouldn't. It's just... Fighting Carl, I've had to do some things that I normally wouldn't do. I understand that. Fighting to get what you want. I believe you do. But you have a conscience. And I admire that man. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go away, Jake. Why does everyone keep telling me that today? There's no story here. I don't know. I please blotter. I heard that some a ancient African artifact had been stolen. Why is everybody getting so excited about this? You tell me. I just can't believe that Matthew would be serious about a woman like that. I think your ex-love is in this way over his head. With her? Please. Please. Hello, Harbor Club. Paulina, yes, Matthew is yeah. here. Uh, all right, in. just calm down. Just calm down. What's happening? What? Yes? Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's your sister. Yeah. What? Don't go near it, Paulina. I mean it. Listen, I'm on my way, okay? All right, Matt. Wait, wait, wait. Some, something's wrong. I'm going with you. All right, no, let's go. She's fine, and it's family anyway, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, Listen, I'm very sorry, Lila. Do you what? mind, uh... Do you mind taking a cab? Oh, no, of course. Sorry. Oh, well, Matt, I don't need all this. <clears throat> Money. Hmm. What's wrong, honey? Trouble and terror? Hadley, what are you running from? I'm just looking for a new adventure, that's all. Hey, Matt. You know that man? Yeah. I know his family. You want a drink? Dying for one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> We've got to talk to him. No way. That's 
Scott Bay doesn't stand a chance against the Corinthians if we stick together. Look, you're making things worse. If you won't, I will. Uh, hey, Dave, do, do you want her to get away before Rachel gets here? You called Mom? How can you do that? Rachel wants to meet her. Why can't you just stay out of this? I'm only trying to help Matt. Well, stop trying so hard. Look, I'm gonna go catch that woman before Mom gets here. I... Hi. Hey. Pauline, how you doing? Hello, oh, Pauline. You finally got out of the house. Good for you. Yes, we're driving each other a little nuts. Mm. So, uh, where's Hadley? I'm dying to meet She's her. Right away. She's gone. Where could she have gone? I don't know. She's done this before. I don't get this. Maybe she went home. All right, this is weird. Yeah, where, where is she living these days? She, she's living at Jake McKinnon's old place. How did she manage that? I don't know. I guess he was renting it. What is going on? If I could tell you, I would. Prescott. Have you lost your mind? Well, I'm not the one screaming Hadley Prescott. Paulina saw you. Yes, and she called Mom, and she's on her way to Penguin. Oh, my God. I thought we agreed Hadley was going to disappear for good. What is the matter with you? Well, I had to say goodbye to Sheen, didn't I? You know, you should have never talked to him in the first place. Now, listen, go home, and I will try and clean up this mess that you made. Don't you use that tone with me, Matt? Look, I'm controlling my temper, Amanda. Now go home. You bet I will. Oh, you know, I do believe it's awful hard to get into the Cory mansion without a Cory. Don't worry about me, Jake McKinnon. No, oh, I'm not worried about you. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not in the middle of the road when the Lila Express comes through. You see, I, I, I believe that... Oddly, I'm more worried about Matt. What is wrong with what nice things? Hmm? Nice clothes. Good watch like you have on. I got lucky in the in the stock market. <laughs> after you went after the Cory Millions. Right? Couldn't get a dime if I heard it. Heard about it where? Yeah, it seems I heard that... Uh, you got socked in the jaw at the altar. We all have our little stories, don't we, Lyle? Yes, Jake, that's right, we do. Look, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't... Listen, I know that, uh... Not many people had it as rough as you did when you grew up, so I say if, if you want to go for that house on the hill, you go for it, okay? <laughs> you know, Mama and I used to walk all around New Orleans looking at the nice houses. Oh, Jake. She was so beautiful then. People used to stop and... Stare at him. I bet they did. <laughs> Sometimes we didn't get the courage to go up the garden district, all the mansions were walk around like we belonged there, you know. <laughs> Mama always said that one day we'd know what it was like living in a house like that. <laughs> I was a little girl. I believed her. I used to have dreams like that when I was a kid. <laughs> Dream, you know, that's the name that Mama used to call herself, Dream. She, well, her real name was Jessie. She... I'm gonna... I'm not gonna waste my time dreaming. You know, I spent way too much time dreaming about Shane as it is. You know something, Miley, really have to be... very careful. The rebound. Okay. You can take that from me. You know, just that I, I don't think I'm ever going to love another man the way I loved Shane. But I can try. I have to try. Where is Hattie? 
Oh, she left. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have bothered you. Well, you were with Hadley. Where did she go? I don't know. She said she was leaving town. She's going to go to San Francisco. San Francisco? Yeah. Great. Yeah, she said she was having an affair with an older married... man. Not Carl. Well, I don't believe so, no. This is why you were asking all those questions, oh, because Carl, you believe that I Hadley don't, and Carl... Not... Where is Carl? How about I talk to him? Well, that's a problem. We don't know where he is. I'm sure he'll be back. Don't go there. I don't believe that. Of course he's going to be back. How long have you known Hadley? Not long at all, and to be completely honest with you, it's been very strange. Oh, well, maybe it's a good thing she's gone. For all of us. You don't want to go looking for her? I, uh... I want to find my husband. All right, let's go. No, you stay here. Really? Um, yeah, you deserve a night out. You'll bring her home, won't you, Shane? Yeah, of course. Okay, of course it's okay to my arm. Thanks for helping me, honey. I love you. Okay. I love you, too. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah. Well, just you and me, kid. What do you, you... think? People going to talk? <laughs> Please. <laughs> no one would ever be attracted to me, except for my husband, the saint. Stop that. I think you're very attractive. Ah, uh, come on. You know that's not true. Stop. Is that cocktail taken? Um, it is now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy, I used to love bars. Mm. Next round's on me. Deal. Excellent. He's not back yet, Claudia? All right. Okay, no, it's fine. See you later, bye. Not to worry, I'm getting to the bottom of the Hadley mystery back soon, oh, my love, Carl. Yes, let's get to the bottom of this. And let's hope it's not too rocky. For the moment, try this so Cressida. He fell in love, and uh, he would do anything that she wanted. That's not how the story goes. He had a horrible ending. Which ending? We're rewriting all of the myths. For us, the stars are brighter. The moon fuller. I... I can't concentrate right now. I... No, I'm sorry. Here, take, take your sedative. Here it is. If I sleep... Easier for you not to tell me the truth, isn't it? No. You're going to be fine. And and the doctor ordered sleep. All right. I'll stay with you while you sleep. No. No, I I can't sleep with you here. Yes, you can. I'll go call Zoe. I'll be right back. Now she's going to be all upset. I mean, if Hadley's leaving Stop town, it. I should have just got to let No, Stop she's going to be, be up. Fine. She's going to be up all night worrying. God, I hate winter, don't you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in the hospital so much, I don't get much of a chance to see it. Well, you're lucky, because let me tell you something. The days are getting shorter, and the nights are getting longer. And when Joe's away, I can't sleep. And I... <sighs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's okay. No. If you need to talk, talk. No, I should go home to Dante. Now, will you stop? Sit. Dante's fine. Uh, actually, I'm glad he's with Sarah, the nanny, and not me. 
I mean, you know, I'm a great mother and everything. Just ask Vicky. Vicky knows it was an accident. She blames me, though. She does. She does. Deep down inside. <sighs> Kirkland uh, will be dead if it weren't for you, thanks to me. Paulina, it was an accident. You were on pills and you're not anymore, okay? I keep having this reoccurring dream that I run over Dante. It's not Kirkland's bike. I go it's flying up in the air. It's my son. Oh, yeah, you talking to people in group about this? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Paulina, now come I on. am talking about it, Shane, but it doesn't do any good because I don't feel any better. It's only getting worse. It will get better. You just got to give it time. I just want to be thin and pretty again. Oh, hey, come on. You are pretty. Not like before. That's how I got through all those years in the orphanage on Gold Street. I was pretty. Everybody loved pretty Paulina. I practically ran the place, you know, and I took care of everybody. And then I rolled into Bay City. Jake and I stopped traffic. But if I looked then, like I look now. <laughs> I don't believe that, Paulina. Jake wouldn't have looked at me twice, no, and neither would have no, Joe. No, I don't believe that at all. <sighs> you know, when I look in the mirror, this fat, lonely stranger looks back at me. Everybody tells me I'm, I'm the perfect friend, I'm a great mother, I'm a devoted wife. <laughs> but when I wake up in the middle of the night all alone, who the hell am I? <laughs> Stop saying that, will you? I really should go home. Well, I'll tell you this. You do need to get some sleep. I just hate to go home alone. Yeah. So do I. So do I. If you marry Matt Corey, you can have anything you want. Hmm. Marry? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I'm not thinking about that for oh, a long is time. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Do you want to know what I was wondering, though? What's that? Do you know who serves on the board of Corey Publishing? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Why? Mm-hmm. Well, you know Carl fired Matt. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think it's right. Oh, so, so you're planning a coup. No. But I would like to know who would be in the position to help him get back. What's right with you? Mm. You know, I, I don't know, but I'll find out. You want to know why? I absolutely love watching you in action. It's Rachel Hutchins. The doorman told me where to find you. I'd like to talk to you. God damn me. The serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And the courage to... Saturdays. Imagine a dream team trained to enter your mind to help you overcome your worst nightmares. It's the newest thrill on the NBC Saturday Thrilogy. Sleepwalkers premieres Saturday, November 1st on NBC.